more time, we'll just head home Raise a wild flag It's on a lost glory gone Now we're gonna march to certain death With these landmines in our chest Every night, another rain We both stare a thousand yards Some of you longtime viewers of the channel may remember this. This was actually the first video and also the first video that I did outside and actually the first video that we had flight footage of. Um, this is my Team Black Sheep Discovery Long Range. This is hands down my favorite quad that I've ever made. Really has a special place because if you watch the other videos, this is actually the sort of final form of the first quad that I ever built. So it's the iteration of that over time. Um, now, as you'll see in the clip that's going to come up, um, the original Discovery got pretty much almost totaled in a horrible rally crossing incident. Well, broke the top plate, but I didn't break the bottom plate, which means that I don't have to redo a lot of work. I just got to buy another top plate and some uh, better propellers because I broke two of those. But all in all, you know what? It's just part of, and I broke the batteries too. All in all, that's just part of the hobby. I'll rebuild. It will be stronger than before. However, it really wasn't that bad. All I did was break the top plate and um, break some props and some pride. So after ordering a new top plate, getting some of these new, better balanced props, I also decided to buy a Nasa M Lite. This was due to that the Nasa Lite actually dropped in price now due to the new Nasa M or whatever they call it, or the M type, um, it just came out about a couple days ago. Um, I actually really prefer the NASA over the Arty Pilot, uh, mainly it's because the return home actually works and it has fantastic stabilization. As you saw in the first clip and also in the clip that's pointing now, uh, both of these were raw, they had no post processing stabilization except for what came off of the Hero 5. I'm going to do a full review on this camera later, including shots from mini quads from this, and also from head mount and car mounts. Um, personally, I think this is hands down the best GoPro that GoPro has ever made. I know it's pretty obvious because it is the Hero 5, however, they really outdid themselves. Yes, it may have the same sensor as the Hero 4, however, I do like the LCD screen. I like how it can record 4K and 24, H.264 codec, and I like the image stabilization. It is absolutely fantastic. Um, so like I said, Nas under the hood. However, there is one disappointing thing about the Hero 5 that I don't like, and that is that there is no more video output out of the USB Type-C, or, and I can't find an HDMI cable. So I have to run this 600 TV line and this 250 milliwatt FPV transmitter. Now, a lot of you that have been in this hobby for a long time will recognize this as the default fat shark kit for the Predator V2s, that is the non-CE. However, I'm going to be getting my ham soon, which means that I can go to a 1 watt 1 3, which I am going to purchase off of somebody locally. So luckily that should then give me longer ranges, and I'm also going to throw a TBS crossfire on that, is why there's also electrical tape on the back. These were only temporary because I had to film a rally race this weekend, and normally they sit off of the quad because they sit on an airplane. However, like I said, I was in a pinch and I needed to film, so that's why those are just kind of crudely taped on there. Now, if you haven't watched the other two videos, I have Aimdrox Aluminum Arms, Multistar, uh, 4114, 320 kV motor, swinging 15 by 55 inch props. I do have a default spectrum system, like I said, that is going to change in the future. And for the new edition for the Mark III has been the Nas M Light and the Hero 5. I hope that you really enjoyed today's episode. Um, we're going to be getting a lot more stuff going. I've finally settled in. I know the landscape looks a lot different. I know I was able to get the 220 video out, but that's before I started classes. Now, classes are kind of starting to wind down a little bit, which means that I can get back into this. Um, 
So be sure to stay subscribed. We are almost at 150 subs. I'm going to do a 150 sub special where I pretty much go through the entire fleet. I have an FT Spear that I built. I've got a Nano Skyhunter, which I still need to do a video on. And so if we can get it up to 150, I might also do something a little bit special. So be sure if we can get to that 150 mark in like the next couple days, I will try and do something very special. I know it may not seem like a lot, but when we're in such a small hobby, little numbers do mean a lot. So I just want to thank every single one of you for watching the video through it um, and for appreciating what I've been able to do here. Uh, so be sure to leave a like if you like this content, dislike if you dislike this comment, leave a comment down below if you have any more questions, or if you just want to know, I don't know, like I said, any more questions, and I will hopefully see you in the very near future in the next episode. Happy flying.